Chryso, welcome back to The Right Games. As you can see in front of us, uh, this is no longer the para. We've actually won a Shatango source, or short shant. At the end of the migration, whilst I was uh, starting to hide in the uh, shrubbery, the uh, admins on Discord uh, advised that I won a shant. So uh, we've got one life of possibly the strongest hadrosaur there is on this game. I haven't played this yet. Um, it is massive um, from what I can remember from the migration. Powerful stomp. Um, it has two attacks, a stomp and a head attack. And it is a herbivore. What are we going to be doing in this episode? Um, as all herbivores, they will need to have a herd, so I'm going to start exploring the isle and possibly going to the other side of the island, whereas I usually hang around by port. I'll head over to the other side where I believe it's called uh, Great Falls. So we will head up in that direction. And hopefully there'll uh, be some other herbivores to uh, congregate with and uh, just uh, coexist together. Uh, being a habit, so obviously within the game there is some rules. Obviously you can't mix herds with um, ceratopsians, just try ceratopsians. I did check out a few messages out there on the global and we have got one other shant which is uh, as you can see on the screen right by there. I've uh, just been heading over but um, there hasn't been no response off uh, this player. So I'll just head over in the general direction and hopefully uh, team up. The player kept asking for my uh, location and my uh, coordinates after I gave him. There's still no response, so I've uh, just uh, kicked them out of the group. So I'm back on my own again. Just going to make my way down here. Alright, starting to get dark. I'm getting close to this uh, great uh, lake, uh, sorry, river. Baby set a baby tri <laughs> yeah, baby triceratops. Uh, they can't stay with me too long. If it continues to follow me, I'll have to three caller. He is quite lively today. Over here right behind me the stomp, the footsteps of it. Okay, that's the second one. <laughs> That's an adult something. I think there's a herd of Triceratops, so yeah, that's something else. Yeah, I'm going to have to head over. Uh, I've rested up any of the Triceratopses or whatever those dinosaurs were. I weren't going to cross pack with those uh, two babies, otherwise I'll have to kill him, sadly. Okay. Yeah, Great Falls is up by there. I'm going to see if there's any paras down here because the last time I was playing as a para there was a herd of them right in the just over that waterfall right over there. So I think I'll read down. Some uh, facts about the uh, shant. It's actually still a large, well I say large, a very large hadrosaur dinosaur. General knowledge is it's roughly existed around the Lake Cretaceous approximately I'd say 85 to 80 million years ago. Um, reaching around about 15 meters in length and uh, approaching 13 to 14 tons in weight. So it, it is a very large herbivore and generally dinosaur. Being a hadrosaur, um, the reason the hadrosaur is so diverse is they've got a unique way of getting food, unlike other dinosaurs. Um, although they got a beak, 
Hadrosaurs normally are part of the duck bill dinosaurs. You know, they have got a duck bill, a toothless snout, and they do have a, like a grinding teeth as well, with approximately around about 1,000 or 2,000 little tiny chewing teeth, um, which is similar to our uh, molars. So that was able to chew up the food better, get more nutrients that way, allowing to diverse. Um, obviously, the hadrosaurs have different ways of um, communicating as well. Some people believe, obviously, they had loose skin and able to greatly communicate um, with loud noises, such as the Parasaurolophus, like a trombone. Um, <coughs> And maybe like the Edmont, the source having a loose skin around their nostrils to expand like balloons. So I've been uh, making our way up here now, and this is the river of Great Falls. It's um, extremely quiet there, I haven't heard anything so far. I haven't actually come across any dinosaurs. It's been a very little time so far. I've never been to Great Falls that I'm aware of. hear nothing at all. If there's it's no luck at Grey Falls, I might head over to the Twins, which is on the other side of the map, but I'm closer to the Twins than Port now, and I don't have much time with any herbivores at Port, because it's usually full of Utahs. Right, my water's getting down. Should I... So far, looking for a herd, not had much luck. This um, person in the general in the uh, chat, I've messaged them a few times to see if they want to herd a group up, and they're trying to give eggs out. And um, there's been no uh, invite just yet. I think they're just trying to pull people's legs with a shant, as you do get with some people in the server. Trying to pull fast ones, and you end up. Uh, in. I'm at the top of Great Falls now, and still no noises at all. It's um, empty. It's usually quite full from my view from general chat. The map I got next to me just shows a little pathway up here to get to the top, so I'll. Alright, that's T Rex. That's a Therizinosaurus. The Rex are in a closer. Alright, and that's definitely. Right, it sounds like it's mostly herbivores. I'm gonna go up this pathway and I'll try and make my way up there. There was a Rex up there. But. Certainly, I need a para which I can herd up with. And there's quite there's some chat of a massive para herd as well. So, hopefully, they are great falls. Lovely scenery over there. Uh, the other mountain over there is where I started off as this uh, shant. So far, two nights and very lonely, except for that um, one player. Yeah, we get a lot more noises now, so I'm just going to head up over here. My screens are not the best, as I told you in the last episode, so I'm going to hide in the um, trees, rest, and go AF AFK. No idea what that is. Yeah, I think it's best if I just hide. I need to go AF AFK anyway, so we'll head over here, hide up, and come back in the morning. Right, I've uh, come back a little bit early. 
it's starting to get light now. Right, that's a Dibble. I think that's a Para. No idea. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we'll get some family now. Uh, it won't be uh, a lonely herb of on its own. I've not heard the wreck so far or any other carnivores. So we'll make our way down here. So that's not a good sign. I think that's a para. I just see a para's, I'm sure I just see a para's tail over here. Yeah, it's definitely a para, could you? I can see a tail up ahead. Looks like that must be the para. Okay, no, that's a uh, aloe. Ah, oh, great. Acro T Rex. Baby Rex, okay, let's get out here. Yeah. Okay, I just don't want I'm not gonna run. I'm gonna try and save my stamina for stomping. <clears throat> let's make my way down the mountain now, try and get away from those Rexes, you never know they might start attacking me. I'm sure they said there's chance up here. Alright, there's actually two shants over there. It seems like they're further away, so I'll walk around the Rexes now and the Acro. Ah, oh, there's the Acro. Okay, let's get down here. That player? I'm sure that player's right there. It's not on the other mount, it's moving quite quickly. Where's that Acro gone? Oh, hey, there it is, another shant! Finally, no longer alone. Okay, here we go. How? I did not see them there. I was focusing on the T-Rex and the Carnal. Okay, three. I think they're three baby Rex, uh, three GV Rexes. Looks like Sukos or Barry's on the other side. The Carno. T there's the T-Rex over there with the carcass, so it's not that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, yeah, the Paras, this is where they are. Paras, Myers. I've got three shants, including myself. been afraid of acros, especially when being a Utah, but I'm drinking and I'm still bigger than it. There's me being afraid to lose my shant, and I'm towering over an acro. I don't think I tower over a rex though. Stomach ground with these carnivores now. And 
I shan't burn through any fear, so mate, I shouldn't. He must know bets, and I don't. Ah, that was pushing his luck. Alright, thank you for watching uh, this episode. We finally found the herd. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, in the next episode, uh, we will show the full life as a fully fledged herd member of the Hadrosaurs. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. Take care and stay safe.